Great question. Um, <clears throat> in Gilbert, depending on who you ask, we're anywhere from five to 20 years from build out where we won't have any more land to build new homes. Um, and we've been fortunate as a town to be booming again with residential development. Um, and people want to come to Gilbert and there's lots of reasons why they want to come here. And it's a good thing that people want to move here and, and want to build homes here. With that being said, we have to look long term. I look at some of the surrounding jurisdictions um, who in the 90s made decisions that at the time made sense. Right then and there, they were good decisions. They're now paying for those decisions 15, 20, 30 years later because they didn't uh, make long-term decisions. When we talk about commercially zoned land, we need to do our best uh, to maintain as much commercially zoned land as we can. Um, I am not willing to go out and say we will never change commercially zoned land to something else. I don't think an ultimatum on it that says no way, no how makes sense. Um, we do have some areas in Gilbert where there are small pieces of commercial property that probably make sense to convert to something else. And we as a council have approved some very small areas and we've approved some, we've approved some larger areas. Um, but you need to look at each piece individually, especially the smaller pieces. Um, I think the way the economy has gone and the way that retail has gone, it's, it's simply not going to work to have a bashes or fries on every single corner which was what some of the general plan proposed years and years ago. And so there are some areas that don't make sense um, that, that we should look at to potentially changing to something else. Um, but I think any large parcels that we have, we need to keep as they are um, and not be persuaded by short-term gain and, and, and more appropriately look at the long-term gain of, of keeping it as it is.